Well, hello, everybody. Isn't hello. this a little different? Yeah. The first thing you might notice is that we're playing Yoshi's Story. Hooray! And the second thing you might notice is that Vickis isn't here. Oh, no. He is currently on a plane, as far as I know, to the uh, kingdom of happiness and wonder that is Disney World Florida. He's off having a life. What uh, a weirdo. Well, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> well, one of us had anyway, to say Anyway, this is our level select screen for Yoshi's Story. Uh, the game is divided into six chapters, each with four different levels. We're going to start with level 1-1, one, one, Treasure Hunt! There are a lot of moving objects. And our lucky fruit is bananas. Of course. You will never escape those. Nope. Okay, so here we are in control of Yoshi. Yoshi has basically what you'd expect Yoshi moves to have. He can jump, he can flutter jump, which is basically a hover move, he can ground pound, which changes which shy guy like, colors. Yeah, that's weird. And he can eat. He can also throw eggs. Basically, if you played Yoshi's Island, you know what this is. Yeah, nothing too complicated. He can also he has a new move where he can sniff for treasure. The faster he sniffs, or when he gets little animations, you know you're close. Coins just kind of boost your point value. Uh -huh. Which is because only important for trial mode. <laughs> this is back when we still had points. Yeah, more or less. Sometimes fruit is hidden in bubbles which you need to pop open with eggs. So each fruit has a different value of what points and health it will give you. Just a regular fruit will give you one. Um, a fruit that Yoshi likes will give you three, and so will melons. And the lucky fruit will fully fill your health and make Yoshi very happy. Uh -huh. Now one thing I want to say about this game is that it's very cute. It, Yoshi yeah, will actually is. make I little like... gurring noises when he gets close to enemies. The art style is very in like, interesting. And this is just the pause screen for posterity. It is kind of useful in certain situations. Like when you want to go up and use the bathroom or something. <laughs> but in others too. I I'm not just saying that. Anyway, advice blocks, you bop them under... You know what you do with them. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Anyway, these are Miss Warps, and as the advice block just said, they basically act as checkpoints and fast transit systems. So, this elephant is kind of a jerk. He won't let us get by. Okay, here, here's something embarrassing. When I played this game as a kid, it took me like half an hour to figure out what to do. All you have to do is pound yeah, the ground because... I don't because... know why that never occurred to me. Well, he's very bottom-heavy, so maybe you thought it would knock him off balance. I don't know. I, I think maybe I, I didn't even know that you could do that, because, like, I was seven, or... When, when did this game come out? Seven sounds about right. All is forgiven. Yeah, you yeah. know. I was a dumb kid. Anyway, those little, um... exclamation point balls are basically tongue grapple points. You could use your tongue to flip around on them. It's pretty fun, but not really necessary right now. <laughs> So this introduces mini-games. Before we hit that block, I want to do a couple of things to make this a little easier on myself. And if you eat enough fruit in succession, you get basically a super happy invincibility heart fruit, and Yoshi just is having the time of his start. life. The music changes, your ground pounds can pop bubbles, wow. and... That was, that was far away, too. And your tongue also gets really long. I think your egg your egg radius might get a little bit bigger, but I haven't really noticed a significant change, so maybe you have to fulfill some other criteria. Right, or maybe it's just a really small bonus. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely a good thing to have. Can't complain about it. Oh yeah, of course. Anyway, this is the melon race. All we have to do is get to the finish flag before the chain, stop, chain chomp starts eating all of our melons up there. That's pretty Naturally, simple. Naturally, this is very easy since it's the first level. Right. But this gets murderously difficult later on. Murderous? Like, really? Doesn't seem like a very hard game. Well, that's the thing. If you're just playing through it just to play through it, then yeah, it's a pretty easy game. But, You'll maybe but... die a couple times because the controls can get a little floaty when you're platforming. But if you're going for, like, 
melon completion and getting all of the hearts, some of the mini games can get very hard. And we're not going to be doing that, or? Um, I'm going to be. I'm not going to be avoiding them, but I give you no guarantee that I actually succeed. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that's fair enough. And usually. I can at least sort of get the races, but there are a couple of mini-games that are just very difficult. <laughs> like, of all the games to, like, you know, spurg out and try and get 100% for, this is kind of a weird one. Yeah, so, so the, and like, that's kind of why I'm not doing it. Yeah, this... <laughs> I, I've had enough of that it won't for really a while, fit the mood. thank you. Right, I feel I should mention that this, this thread is a happy thread and this video is a happy video. This is, yeah... This is a happy place. So we are just going to be having fun with Yoshi. And, as you can see, I've gotten more than enough melons here. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Yoshi's Island veterans might remember Poochie, a very helpful character. We can't ride him around over obstacles, sadly, but Aww. he does do something very helpful. As the advice block said, he actually stops to sniff for treasures, and he will tell you where stuff is. It's, um, a lot more helpful than just randomly sniffing every part of the level. Right, because that sounds very tedious. So it's kind of a prerequisite to get all of the melons, which is why I don't really want to do it. <laughs> so do you, like, do you get something for getting all the melons, or...? You get a unique ending screen for the level. Hmm. Not even the game, just the oh, level. that's... that's not very interesting. Nope. And what, what was that? You also get a high score. Uh, that was a heart fruit, and heart fruits allow you to access more than one level on the next page. They basically unlock the game. Oh. Uh. They also add a little bit to your score and your completion percentage and all of that. You can check how many you have in the pause screen, like I just showed off. Right, right. There's quite a bit of melons. They're just randomly in places, and you just have to sniff a lot or follow Poochie. Yeah, it seems like it'd be very tedious without Poochie. And he's not in every level, so... <laughs> If I do go back and get 100% melons on a level, this will probably be the one I do, because it's fairly easy. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. As you might have guessed, um, Shy Guys come in different colors, and you get more points in health if you eat one that's a matching color to your Yoshi. This is a little thing where you can earn yet another melon by collecting all of these coins before they disappear. Hmm. It's sort of a mini game, but sort of not. Yeah, it's it uh, like, very simple. It's like two seconds long. <laughs> they can get. They generally don't get too tough, but they can get a little difficult if you're over precarious terrain. Right. Anyway, this will be the last heart for the level. These will make an appearance a little later, that blue block you can break by throwing an egg at it. <laughs> Generally, you won't find many except in, like, uh, underground or dungeon-like yeah, levels. Yeah, it looked kind of out of place there. I think they were just introducing you to the mechanic, because I think they expected this is where most players would start. Yeah, that makes sense. You can actually um, go to any level on page one. Anyway, I'm just demonstrating the missed warps here. They're actually really handy if you are going for 100% melon completion, because you can just sort of warp between around parts level. of the level. It's, it's also very handy if, say, um, you're looking for extra hearts. Heart fruits, oh, you I missed, mean. missed number three. Oh, that's true, I did. That's, that's very odd. Yeah. <laughs> I, sorry. <laughs> This is not a 100% Miss Warp run. I, I'm voting one and moving on, I guess. Anyway, we get this little score screen after every after every little um, level we do. And it's a little different from the one in trial mode because you can't enter your name. <laughs> Darn. After every level, we'll treat it to uh, little Yoshi singing, and we get a little outro, and it's cute, and I like this game. <laughs> Not even elephants. Well, you know, those elephants didn't really do much, except... Well, they they did to me. Oh. <laughs> this is for you, Brother Entropy. This is for you. <laughs> the page turned, and we grew happier. 
Anyway, so this looks different. This is page two, the cavern. Uh, there's. I, I thought this was a happy place. It is a happy place. I mean, look, the Blarg is smiling. That skeleton looks pretty of. happy. Yeah, it's just the bone dragon. Actually, all skeletons look happy when you, when you think about it. Oh, that was the ending. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, well. 